All right, this video is for, uh, let's see here, I'm going to murder your name, so I'm really sorry, uh, the, the Hartha, the Hartha de Pathirana. Okay, um, so the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that I think you have a good, good sense of color and a good sense of um, your rendering techniques. However, there are some things that I want you to take a look at. First, let's look at the silhouette. Um, so all I did here was just cut out your, your central character from the figure, and it uh, kind of got cut out some of the feet here, but that's okay. So the f uh, silhouette reads okay, except for this area here, where the two pieces start connecting together, and that's when it gets kind of awkward. All right. And so that's the first thing that I would tell you that you want to probably uh, kind of work with. Um, the second thing is the black and white scale of things. Um, and this is just a color mass, a color layer. If you look here, this is your, your brightest area here. And what you should be doing is focusing more up here. And it took me a second to realize because I just keep getting drawn into the stomach here. And so I think that's a, a big uh, issue that you want to kind of look at. Now, from a uh, from a anatomical view, I think there are things that we could kind of work with a little bit more uh, to bulk up a little bit more of the muscle, make it a little bit more terrifying. Okay, so uh, let's just grab a red here. So the head is fine. Um, the you might want to add in a little bit more of the neck wrinkles and things like that and kind of separate that. Um, but the things that really suffer are the simplified geometry. Um, so, you know, adding in something like this for the pectorials, uh, uh, these pectorials over here would come more horizontal like this and, and then basically come in like so. Um, and then, you know, a collarbone, more pectoral muscles, like define that muscle group here. Um, and then when it comes to the back here, that's another thing that you might be able to put a couple more slight shadows in there to kind of develop that idea. Um, the same thing kind of goes for the leg muscles. You've got the knee in here and it's really stone hard, um, but you're not really defining it. And I think by simply adding in, you know, that defined leg muscle um, is going to kind of help you out a little bit more. Um, same thing here and here. Uh, so those are things that you can add just from an anatomical standpoint. Uh, what I would do is I would tell you that you first want to tone down uh, your, your base layer. So I would actually kind of uh, start muting this. And as you can see, as I start muting this tonal value here, even though it's got the the pectoral muscles pulling out here. I'm just going to kind of add some double shadow in there real quick. Um, you can start seeing now how that head starts popping a little bit more of that color. The other thing is you've got such a high harsh shadow from the top and that's fine but there's other shadows that you would lose. So you're going to lose these here and so those are going to be muted a lot more. Um, you're probably actually going to darken those up something like this. And you're going to, um, you know, think about the, the physical uh, aspect. So you're going to get a shadow here, but you're also going to get shadows cast on itself because of the, the harsh geometry that you've got going on. So adding those little functions in there are going to kind of help. And you see as I'm doing this, what's happening is I'm slowly refining that, that work. So um, we're just going to kind of put in a little bit more anatomy here. Um, and then as you, as you start going, putting in the refined, you've got such refined fingers, go with the refined toes as well. Um, you know, just those that, that tendon and stuff like that that come in and out. So adding those in there, that's going to help you out as well. Uh, what else can we do? Um, so that and the, the head here really has this soft edge on there, and you have hard edges everywhere else. And so what I would tell you to do is you want that hard edge on top. So we're just going to grab this area here, and we're going to just really refine that edge 
and you see it's very simple uh, a simple refinement but without it you're 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 kind of leading that head into kind of another oops another uh, kind of aspect there um, and then again the you know the idea is very cartoony and that's okay but what you want to do is I think again a little bit more anatomy in the jawline and things like that um, so you know adding in adding in like the defined muscles here I'm just gonna really quickly just kind of just add that in erase that out and something like that um, you know so adding in like those like I said those defined muscles are, are going to help you a little bit I'll just erase this out like the way it looks here um, and then you got some of the sag going on here um, and I like that that you put that in there the, the sag and the ripples there but also like he's he's standing straight straight diagonals I'm going to show you this real quick here um, if you look at him from here with his spine here he's pretty much got a, a vertical like stance here and so one of the things that you can do is in order to kind of improve that is to kind of shift him left and right now that's a lot of work to revamp this but that's just something that you want to uh, kind of really pay attention to um, the next thing is uh, the next thing you'd probably want to do is, you know, with, with the additional muscle, muscle refinements is to kind of work a little bit more on this cloth. Um, it's very hard, very uh, kind of perfectly cut. Um, and so what I would do is I would like fray the edges a little bit more, um, make it a little bit more defined so that it's going to not be this crisp, clear kind of aspect and then again you've got you've got your shadow so and this is kind of where uh, I'm talking about so you think think about your shadows here so you've got your head here and I'm just gonna rough this out you've got the shoulder muscles coming up and over like so um, pectorials over here with the arms coming forward like this so look at how and then you've got the pot belly coming like this and then kind of that pelvis torso where you start your legs. Now look at if I'm shadowing this down, and I'm going to do this in white here. So I'm shadowing this down. You can see here where the strong highlights are going to kind of hit, and then the the darks, which you've got some, are going to hit under here, under here, and under here. But in all reality, this is all in shadow here. Um, it's all defined underneath because of the, the, the amount of push that your light has from the top. Now, if you angle that light a little bit more, then you start getting a little bit more interest in there. Um, so angling that light forward, and I'm just going to do it on top here, becomes now something like this, but it's also like on the belly here and things like that. Then you can put a little bit on the knees and so on and so forth. Um, so that side profile helps is going to help you with your lighting and the front profile. Um, so those are things that you want to kind of work with and just kind of look at and start kind of manipulating with. Uh, the other thing is, I think in order to improve the profile and and I, you've got kind of the spider look going on, but if you really push that spider look, so the head's looking this way, this ear is I think going to come out more this way. Um, and I would actually almost like spike it out so it kind of breaks up that body line. Um, you know, the problem is everything's really smooth, really, really uh, uh, basic as far as that goes. And I think if you break up that, that line a little bit more, uh, you're going to get a better silhouette. Um, so those are just some of the things that uh, I, I would put in there. And um, I hope that helps. And if you like this, uh, Take a look at my patron account and subscribe.